So many of you will want to convert your own signature into a digital signature. Uh, and it's quite easy to do in the likes of Photoshop. Personally, <laughs> I go for a digital sig signature uh, when it's actually going onto the print. I think it's neater and it's definitely better my, than my own. However, when I'm signing um, a photograph or I'm signing on a mount, I'll basically use the likes of the Adobe handwriting sig signature as a font and things without any trouble. That's what you're seeing here. Um, but I absolutely get it that you might want to actually kind of convert it. And that's really what this film's about. So the first thing to do is to um, basically uh, get a piece of paper, white, obviously with a black pen or whatever, uh, and then just um, do a few sig signatures, three, four, whatever it's going to be, scan it or photograph it with the phone. And then the next thing will be is kind of cropping it um, to choose the one that you want. Okay. So let's just choose the wrong button mark. Um, let's just choose the top signature here. And this is the one that we're going to choose. Um, double click in it. And the next thing we're going to do is uh, make more contrast within the image. Okay. So it's going to go to control L. You can use curves as well if you want. Um, but basically move the black point down and just then push the white point up a little bit. That will pretty much help the signature be solid black, uh, especially where it kind of starts to melt into the paper you signed on uh, and any kind of see-through definition perhaps and things will help it. And then just pushing that white up um, a little bit to kind of really make sure that the white is white in case there's any shadows or marks or whatever it is, we don't want to copy that. So just going to press OK. Um, next thing we want to do is make a selection of the sig signature. So a quick way to do that, uh, select on channels, click onto the red channel. I'm just going to click on control as I uh, click onto the red channel thumbnail. Then I'm just going to go up to invert the selection, select and inverse. And I can now just go into solid color, choose a color that I want, any color, of course, I'm just going to press OK. Technically, at this stage, I don't need the original background image because this is now a digital copy of my signature. Just need to file, save as, and then we're just going to do signature scan 23, press save, press OK. So um, if you want to automate this, though, what I would recommend you to do, so you don't have to go looking for the file each time you want to do it, is to create yourself a little bit of an action, okay? So if I just go across onto my action palette for a minute, as you can see here, I've already got my Claircorn signatures open. Uh, let's create a new one, okay? So remember, this is called uh, Signature Scan 23. Let's close that one down. And then all we're going to do is uh, in the uh, action palette, um, I'm going to go to create new action. That's that little plus. I'm just going to do a signature 23 or scan 23. Just press a, a record. Let's give it a color as well so we can see it. Color first mark red. And we'll just go give it um, F12. And we'll just do the control key. So control and F12. I don't want to use the F12 because that is the revert command. I'm just going to press record. And at this point, all I want to do is open up the file. So I just go to file, open. It basically remembers where I was. So that's that signature scan 23. Let's open that one up. And there's our signature. At this point, we just stop it, um, continue the action on in other words, but I'm just going to kind of drag it onto the image for now and just drop it on here. And you can see straight away, there's the digital signature that we just created. At this point, all I really need to do is control T to transform it, change it to the size that I want it to be, double click in it. And of course, the great thing about this method, if you want to change the color, you just double click onto the color itself and just go and choose the color that you want. And that's how we can convert our own signature into a digital signature in the likes of Photoshop.